A social studies teacher at a Florida middle school has been taken out of the classroom because administrators learned that she had a side job as the host of a white supremacist podcast. Sarah Seidner has the story. 25-year-old Diana Volatich had one job, teaching social studies to middle school students at this Florida public school. On her off time, she had another passion, sharing white supremacist ideals right and anti-Semitic so conspiracy much. theories on a public brain. social media website, including her own podcast under the Russian pseudonym Tiana Dolokhov. So many other researchers have already looked into this, and that's just the way it is. There are, there are races that have higher IQs than, than others. She also shared her views on Twitter under the same pseudonym, saying things like, it isn't supremacist or hateful to prefer your own people over others. And, you know America's education system is designed to enable victimization when teachers are forced to learn about institutional racism and prove it's real when it isn't. After the myriad of tweets and comments were first reported by the Huffington Post, the publication shared what they found with the Citrus County School District. The district has removed Volatich from the classroom pending an investigation. In a statement through an attorney, Volatich denies being racist or anti-Semitic, saying her comments online were all political satire and an attempt to get more followers. None of the statements released about my being a white nationalist or white supremacist have any truth to them, nor are my political beliefs injected into my teaching of social studies curriculum. But she did admit at least one parent complained about her political bias in class. I've had a couple instances where, you know, parents were concerned. I had one at the beginning of this year who emailed the principal over my head and basically, you know, told her, I'm worried that your teacher is in, you know, she's injecting political bias into her teaching. And the principal came to me and she was like, I'm not worried. Should I be worried? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and she believed me and she backed off. Another parent, Meredith Blakely, says her daughter attended Miss Volatich's class. On a personal level, I'm outraged that you know, people in 2018 still think this way. Blakely's daughter told her she remembered a comment by Volatich that made a mixed race child in class uncomfortable. She believes she heard a comment from the teacher where she was saying that during segregation, they had separate water fountains and the teacher somewhat alluded to that in the teacher's opinion, it would be okay if that was the way that it was today. But Blakely says she strongly believes in due process and the First Amendment and that she will wait to see what happens with the investigation into the teacher before she passes judgment on whether or not that teacher should be fired. She did say, though, that this is a wake-up call to parents that they should teach their strong values in the home as well. And she says she's teaching her daughter about inclusion and acceptance. Sarah Seidner, our thanks.